Welcome to JavaScript for Beginners and in this video this is the Chart.js series and in this part we're going to continue more with what we have. So right now we created this nice chart it's a very basic and maybe you created your own does not matter it, the goal here just is to explore the options here. So what we're going to do now is I want you to understand this more let's explore more the data sets in the data sets you can contain all these values and you can give it more colors however let's go here so you might wonder all right where can i find all these data sets so we have here these general things and everything however i would like to go here on the line so if you click on line chart you have the line chart and then you have a sample usage it's not important but you can see here all these data set properties we can now start to play around with all of these options here and you can see some are already in here so let's look here we have the background color we have the label we have the background color and uh, let's see here that's the background color and then so basically this this is the name yes so this is the name part so we call it the I'm not sure what they call this what is this, the properties the name property and then you have the type property indicating what value needs to put in here so if you have let's say the border width you need to put in a number here so the property is the border width let's go and get this and let's put it in here put it in here the border width all right and then here we have to put in a number I want to put a number comma let's say 10 10 sorry 10 means 10 pixels in width I think it will be very bright yes it looks hideous however well you can do probably five let's do this five so you understand it so okay you can see here we have the border width and then this is how you do it and then maybe you say well that's nice but what about this dots here these dots are looking horrible I understand I totally agree let's work around with that so we have to search here so what is that exactly this is the border dash length and spacing of the dashes so we don't have any dashes so what we do have is the fill well no let's see I think it is the point yes that's this one point border width so basically it's the width of the point uh, the width of the point border in pixels all right so this one if you might wonder what do they mean with that you see the point here the width of that border let me say this one will be three let's save this and refresh you can see now it starts to get bigger and I think if we can do this 10 this tree you can well, okay you can see even oh, you can you can make really nice things with this as you can see here you can you can really play around with this but uh, let's see if we can make this yeah that's the one I want the point radius is the shape set zero to point not to be rendered meaning this is the one I wanted I want to expand the point in here the green part here must be bigger yes so I'm going to say point radius is 10 all right just close this message not necessary save this and refresh now we have something and you can, you can see if you hover over it you get some weird effect this effect is of course of the point hit radius so the pixel size of the non-displayed point that reacts to mouse over events that's the one we're talking about point hit radius we have as well so we want to make that identical let's go back here and save this and now you can see no, it's still not responding uh, let's see why can be a few things uh, well, sorry, of the non-displayed point that reacts oh sorry it's a non-displayed point what that means is instead of the things is when we are in a nearby you can see we already react normally you have to uh, this I will just hide this so you understand what I'm talking about because it looks kind of weird so nothing happens it's still same yes but now we have to go almost on the dot and this so let's make this let's make this one huge yes so if we are very nearby in the area then it will start to trigger as well you can see now it triggers when we are in this area here so that's really what it was so this is not what we want yes I'm just going to ignore this because what we need is the point hover border, point hover, uh, the point hover border width, the point hover radius. That's the one I want. And 
then we can do here is just 10 comma save let's close this message go back here there you are so now you can see exactly the same it doesn't change anymore when you hover over it and that's really how you can play around so there's really really a lot of things here show lines boolean means true or false yes so that means if you don't want to show lines you will get dots only yes so let's put in false comma save this go back here refresh only dots and so now you have a scatter chart almost this is not really a hundred percent scatter chart but it's just dots you can see here so understanding this here there are values here color you can give it even different colors you can all kind of things here this all makes sense probably just understand here this is what you call the property that you need to put in this is the value so when you have everything here simple property value comma that's really how it works so so now you understand that if you look at the list then it's very clear what's going on here and that's basically with chart.js on this part the data what we call the data sets information